Alright, what's going on everybody? Today is Wednesday. I just finished up some Ramwad, uh, as you guys saw. I It's always good, but I really like to do it on the days I don't work, because normally I get up at 3 a.m. for work, and then I work till 9 a.m., and it's basically just like a workout. Like, that's like stocking, um, just heavy crap all day. I get used to doing that before I work out. My body's already kind of loosened up. I've gotten my heart rate up that day. So on the days that I don't work, I like to do Ramwa before I work out, and then I spend a little bit extra time warming up, um, really paying attention to getting my heart rate to spike before I'm actually going into a workout. Um, but today I got some really gross stuff to do. Uh, one of the ones, one of the first ones I'm doing is a workout Josh made, and as Pat Sherwood would say, it couldn't be simpler. You guys will see it in a couple minutes. Um, then I'm probably going to do some jerks for strength and then join Chad for the class workout today. Um, it looks pretty fun. It's going to be a lot of the same stuff I'm doing before that, uh, but it's like an imam style, so I should be able to uh, get through it fine. And then I'll have some more stuff when I get home, but this video is just going to be this session. Um, a couple days ago, last time I was here, I did Fran. I got a PR. Uh, I did it in 238 which was, it's 12 seconds faster than the last time I did it, um, which is good obviously, but I did break the 15 thrusters and last time I did it, I'm broken. Uh, pretty frustrating, but obviously it was a PR, so I'm not gonna um, like dwell on it, but um, it's just gonna be one of the things uh, to focus on next time, uh, move at the same pace and stay unbroken next time. So. Uh, but 238, I was pretty happy with that. Then I did some heavy hang cleans, uh, did some doubles, and then worked up to like a decent single for the day. I hit 285, felt pretty good. Um, maybe had a little more in me, but um, it felt solid, and I just stopped there. And then I did a workout from Craig Ritchie that he posted on his YouTube channel. Um, changed up a little bit, but uh, basically it was what he did. But yeah, today should be a pretty fun session. It's gonna be a lot of sweating. Yeah, gonna be lots of rowing and bike stuff today. So obviously rowing and bike, not always the most fun uh, things to do in a workout, but they're super important. So we're gonna get through that and uh, try to make the most of it. All right, so if any of you guys haven't seen these up close, these are the drag ropes they use at the games um, for stage one. So they don't spin at all. And like, it's literally just like a schoolyard rope, like super light, catches the wind really easily. Um, so it's a lot harder to do dubs, a lot more like taxing on your shoulders. Um, and you just have to focus a little bit more. This workout's gonna suck, thousand meter row. 100 drag rope dub, dubs, um, 100 calories on the echo bike, 100 more dubs. That's it. So, yeah, not gonna be fun. Let's do it. Also, um, whatever I try to hold on the echo bike is gonna be dependent on how I feel after the row and the first set of dubs. On the row, um, I'm gonna just gonna try to do like 145, maybe 150. So, obviously, you don't wanna go too fast. Um, That'll just make the bike miserable. But uh, that's where a lot of time's gonna be made up is on the machines. So uh, I think that'll be a pretty solid pace and hopefully be able to uh, still give the bike a good, um, a good effort. <laughs>
That hurt pretty bad. Um, the row, uh, I was happy with the pace I chose. I think if I'd gone any faster, it would have been a problem. And uh, if I went any slower, obviously my time would have been worse. Um, the, so going into it, I was like, maybe I'll do the dubs in 25s because it's really easy to blow up on those. And once you blow up, you can't really recover it um, like within any amount of time that would be okay in a workout. So I was gonna do 25s, I got to like 20. I was like, this feels pretty good. I'll just keep going, I'll do like 50. And then I got to like 30. I was like, oh, no, yeah, I definitely should have stopped. Uh, so I did like 35 and then I did, I ended up doing like 20 and 15 for the rest of it to finish that first set. Um, but I definitely lost a lot of time there. Uh, the bike was just miserable. Um, I couldn't even hold like even a somewhat decent pace. Uh, 100 calories is just super aggressive, especially on the echo bikes, because on the echo bikes especially, it's so exponential. Like uh, once you're below a certain point, it just like basically doesn't even count calories. Like it just takes so long if you're not like putting everything you have into it. And with 100 calories, you can't put everything you have into it because you're gonna die by like 20. Um, so yeah, that just took a super long time. And then the second set of dubs, uh, I did 25s and I held them for the whole time. Uh, but yeah, that was super sweaty as I predicted. Um, that was a really fun one though. I mean, fun, like, you know. But uh, yeah, time to get into some jerks. We'll see, I might do doubles, I think, so. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I've always sweated more than the average person but this is when I hate my, when my shorts just get soaked. It ruins workouts for the rest of the day. Also kind of a side note, um, obviously if you're doing any kind of lifting um, or like squatting or anything like that, you're gonna want like your Nanos, your Metcons, actual CrossFit shoes. But for stuff like that, um, these are a super good workout shoe. I think they're uh, Harmony Road 3s. Uh, I got them because uh, Craig Richie got them and he was wearing them all the time and talking about how comfortable they were and uh, they're easily the most comfortable just shoe I've ever worn just around um, but I also use them for running and workouts that you don't really need Metcons um, and they just feel super good on your feet so definitely recommend these.
back home uh, later today, obviously. Um, I ended up doing 245 for five sets of two um, on jerks. Uh, they were pretty easy, but I haven't um, done jerks like that in a while. So I just wanted to keep it at something that I could uh, just really focus on technique. And I wasn't watching the videos in between the sets, which I normally do, uh, so I can like decide what cues I want to think about um, depending on how they look. If I had, I would have focused on getting my front foot out a little bit farther. Um, it wasn't too bad, but um, that's what I would have uh, been thinking about in my head. Um, and then the workout, uh, I thought 225 was going to be pretty aggressive at the end. And I mean, it wasn't easy, but I think I could have done a little bit more to uh, finish off the five shoulder to overhead. The worst part was uh, we only had so many uh, machines and there was a lot of people there. So me and Chad did the row first instead of the bike every time it reset and doing the row right before the chest of bar was pretty bad. So the chest of bar uh, got rough. Um, just because they were right after the row and then if I did it again, I would try to get 245 um, For the five shoulder overhead at the end, I think um, But I was still happy with it. Um, it was definitely a good workout. Uh, I was smoked at the end But yeah, uh, got some fun workouts in today. Hope you guys liked watching that um, If you try any of them, uh, let me know in the comments But I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you next time